They fortified a narrow wooden bridge with 14 cannon and three battalions and dared Bonaparte to cross it. The general ordered a simple frontal assault on the bridge. Everything would depend on the courage of his men. He had earned their admiration with his rapid string of victories. Now he would find out if he also had their faith. How do you incite men to do something like that? It's charisma. I mean, he got tremendous presence. Napoleon was a master at motivating his soldiers. Victory always goes a long way. The more they win, the harder they get to stop. His troops were pretty well hepped up. They'd been chasing Austrians now for weeks, and uh, they went forward. There are no tactics at all. The troops come in so enthusiastically and quickly, it surprises the enemy. It's just a question of enthusiasm. Everyone throws themselves into it. Everyone risks death. With his men facing withering enemy fire, Bonaparte was in the thick of it. He was actually up there laying in the cannon, which is a corporal's job. But he was always up there with them. This is a man with absolute courage. He's wherever he's needed. If he's needed up at the very front to encourage people, he's there. He, he takes physical risks. Even if cannonballs fall close to him, and this happened on several occasions, he's not afraid. The French made it halfway across the bridge and fell back under a vicious hail of fire. Then one last charge and they were across. The Austrian guns fell silent. Here they thought they were safe behind the river, holding the bridge, and all at once the French come across the bridge and beat the living of Jesus out of them. It's a real spectacular job. It wasn't a big battle. The casualties were not particularly heavy, but he had imposed his will on his own men and the enemy, both. It was not a great victory. The Austrian army had, in fact, escaped. But Bonaparte had won the respect and devotion of his men. He came out all sweaty and grimy and covered with gun smoke. The troops liked that. They began calling him the little corporal right there. It was, you identify with us, you're, you're, you're our corporal. This is the moment when he becomes convinced that he has a lucky star and that destiny has chosen him to accomplish great things. They haven't seen anything yet, Bonaparte told one of his generals. In our time, no one has the slightest conception of what is great. It is up to me to give them an example. There was a spark. The battle at Lodi convinced Napoleon Bonaparte that he was a man of destiny. From that moment, he said, I foresaw what I might be. Already I felt the earth flee from beneath me, as if I were being carried into the sky.